What's up, Fight Fan? We back, man. David Benavidez versus Alexis and Gulo, man. My immediate reaction, it looks like uh, David Benavidez gets the victory tonight, man. It looks like uh, Alexis and Gulo, yeah, they, they, his corner called the fight in the 11th round. At the end of the 11th round, going into the 12th between rounds, and um, he's not going to leave his stool, man. He ain't going to leave his corner, man. Good win by David Benavidez tonight. They call it a TKO at the end of round 10. At the end of round 10, I'm sorry. So a TKO, man. David Benavidez pretty much had target practice, target practice tonight. I mean, uh, I mean, I'm just just look like look good tonight. Look like a champion. I gotta give it to him, man. He looked look champion caliber tonight. He did everything well in there tonight, man. Alexis Angulo, a lot of people going into this fight was talking about all oh, his knockout ratio and, and his power was this and his power was that. And he might get a chance to clip David Benavidez, but people wasn't talking about the fact that he's never had a knockout beyond the fourth round. So, either way, David Benavidez played it cautious early. Or I'm going to say cautious. Played it kind of slow early, standing on the outside, using those jabs, using those jabs upstairs, downstairs, using his foot movement to stay out of the distance of uh, of Alexis Angulo. And Alexis Angulo came out explosive. Those first three, four rounds, very explosive, letting his hands fly when he made it to the inside. Wasn't really landing nothing really too major on David Benavidez. David Benavidez's defense pretty much – Pretty pretty good tonight. Pretty tight tonight. Got to give it to him. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is when Alexis Angulo was backing David Benavidez is up. And whenever David Benavidez would hit ropes, to me, this dude Angulo was not digging nearly enough. And that's where he would kind of give up, you know, all of that work that he would do to get to the inside and to get David Benavidez in a vulnerable position. When he would get him there, he just wouldn't do nothing. He wouldn't deliver. He would get Benavidez up against the ropes and wouldn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So... It is what it is. But Benavidez looked shot tonight, man. Got to give it to him. Uh, boxed very, very well. Jabbing from the outside. Like I said, using his length, using his movement. Pretty much wore down and broke down. Just do the Lexus and Gudo tonight. I mean, literally broke him down. It was a beautiful performance. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful performance. Marquis says, dude was taught, but no skills. He old and, and on his way out. Yeah, he like 36 years old. So, you know, this was like probably his last hurrah right here, man. David Benavidez's youth definitely played a, a, a part. And we all know the story going into this fight. David Benavidez lost his title on the scales, unfortunately, you know, coming in 2.8 pounds overweight. So and I also heard he had to give up some money to Alexis Angulo uh, through a penalty or fine or whatever the case may be. But it is what it is. He looked good tonight, man. He looked good. And the crazy part about it is I got David Benavidez, honestly, man, beaten. I got him. I got him beaten probably. I mean, a lot of the champions at 68, bro. I mean. Him and Billy Joe Saunders, I'm going to be real with you, bro. I favor David Benavidez. Um, now, him and Caleb Plant, the fight that we all want to see, 50-50 fight. I mean, David, is look, he looked like a good fight. I know he's still young. He looked like a very, I mean, a complete, damn near complete fighter. I mean, he's strong, throwing combinations. He, he slows the pace of the fight down to his pace. He stands on the outside. He judges that distance very well. Throws that uppercut from the outside. I mean, slim, he's strong. I mean, he put a lot of punishment on this dude tonight, Joe. It just turned into target practice, man. I, I like David Benavidez, man. The question is always coming down to his discipline, man. Is this dude, is he cut from that cloth where we can say he's going to show up uh, every fight? Or is this the kind of dude that, you, do you believe that if he gets these belts and he gets these titles, he gets the big fights, he gets the big money, he's the type of dude that'll lose hunger real early. I mean, because we already see what's going on with him, you know, beforehand. I mean, a lot of people may say he may lose hunger early. So discipline may be his number one issue, but from a skill set, from a skill point of view, man, this dude can fight, man. You can't take nothing away from David Benavidez. Real spill. Billy too small. Billy too small. Yeah, I see that, Marquise. I see Billy I be, Billy Joe being way too small for this dude. Him and Caleb Plant, that'll be a very, very good fight, man. I hope they still go on to do it. I don't know if he's going to go back and maybe try to get his WBC belt back. I don't know how this is going to all going to work out. Uh, they got David Benavidez talking now. Let's see if we can grab a little bit. Uh, and you know, they're, they're all gentlemen all around. We've already if talked a lot a about, bit. you know, obviously coming in overweight. Was conditioning ever a problem at all? Did you feel it at all in this? No, like I said, I was going 15 rounds, man. You know, everything was everything was perfect. And, you know, I'm just so disappointed and embarrassed in myself. You know, um, uh, everything everybody said about me is true, man. You know what I mean? I'm, you know what I mean? Um, I, I should be a professional, come in at weight. But there was just, you know, I, this this time I couldn't do it. This is my first time not making weight in eight years of me being professional, man. So, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I got to go back to the drawing board. You know, I got the diet has to be way stricter than it already is. You know, I'm a big guy. You know what I mean? So I, I have to have, you know, more more strict diet than it already was. You know what I mean? But, um, 
Hopefully, I get another chance fighting for the for the WBC World Title again. Yep. You know, I'm not gonna ask so for a, go a back title shot right WBC away. Route. You know, if they want to give it to me, good. But if they don't, you know, I'll, I'll, I don't mind going back in the back of the line and starting my way up from the bottom. So that begs the question: Then, are your days at 168 done? Do you have to go up, or are you gonna stay here once? I want to. I want to. Like I said, I want to get all these fights. You know, before I go up. You know, so. I have to be even more dedicated than I already was. I felt like just training, and as long as I didn't miss any training, any any training sessions or running sessions, strength and conditioning, I'd be good. But the right, diet well. has to be way stricter than I already was. It was already good, man. But it, it, right, something well, I don't want to get too much. I don't want to get too much. I don't want no Showtime problems. All right, well, there, there you go, man. So it listens. It listens. Uh, David Benavidez is telling everybody for the most part. He's looking to stay at 168, man. Looking to make maybe make a, a run back for that WBC title. And it doesn't look like he want to leave the division anytime soon. Let's see if we get anything about Caleb Plant. Was I getting hit? None of this was, you know, I mean, just because I, I missed weight one time doesn't mean I'm not disciplined. But they could say they're entitled to say whatever they want. You know, they could say, because it's true, I, I didn't make weight. I'm not going to act like I'm not responsible for my weight. You know, I didn't make weight. So whatever they say, is, whatever they want to say is true. It's up to my, it's, it's up to me to go back to drawing board and come back better next time. Well, you know, listen, you had talked about you wanted a unification well, fight next. Well, that's good next, for so, him, man, because... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, at least he's taking his responsibility for what he did with this 2.8 thing coming in overweight. I didn't fault him as much. I know a lot of people don't agree with me, but I think during this pandemic time that there should be one or two pound leeway, you know, given to some of these fighters, you know, given what they've been going through for the pandemic. But, you know, in a lot of cases, in David Benavidez's case, he has his own gym. Now, that's something I did not know about. He has his own gym. So, you know, maybe... You know, maybe he should have he came in here on on, uh, on weight. Losing your title on the scales, man, that's just it's just corny, bro. It's not a good look. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, and, and fans are right to fault. You know, if they say that you got to you know get his act together, you you right to think that. I'm not saying you're wrong to think that at all. I just think during this pandemic, though, you just got to be fair. What's going on? Maybe people don't feel like I feel, and I understand. You know, I think they're done here. Yeah, but. At the end of the day, man, I want to see uh, David Benavidez. I would like to see him go into a fight with Caleb Plant as a unified fight. I, I would like to see him go back after his WBC title maybe and go back and get it. We don't know what's going to happen. Looking at the top five at the WBC at 168, champ, you got what Avni Yildrum and uh, I know Daniel Jacobs is up in there. We just covered this in the vid, man. And, uh, you know, at that list of names that he got in that top five, I think David can easily get that belt back. You know what I'm saying? If he want to go after the belt back, and the WBC going to let him go back after it, he'll definitely get that belt back. And it will be a much bigger situation if, um, you know, him and Caleb planted a unification, especially with all the bad blood between them. I, I wouldn't want to see them two, you know, fighting just for the IBF belt. I mean, don't get me wrong. If it came down to that, us having to wait and see a bunch of crap fights, of course. You know what I mean? But... I just think with all of them two we've been building up to, man, it was worthy of a unification fight, man. And that made it much more that much more special. You know what I'm saying? But David Benavidez is a damn good fighter. One thing that people was never going to say, say what you want about his discipline. You know, maybe he need to stop partying. Maybe he need to leave nose candy alone. Whatever you want to say. But you will never say that this dude is a bum. You will never say it. This dude shop. I mean, does a lot of things right. Jabs, judges distance very well. His jab, he can give you many different kind of looks. Throwing three, four piece combinations from the outside breaks you down. Slows the pace of the fight down to his pace. Every everybody I see him fight, he did the same thing to and uh, to uh, Darrell. Slowed Darrell down, made him fight his pace. Start taking them pounding shots. And on top of that, this kid can punch. Man, Slim, him versus Canelo Alvarez. He called Canelo Alvarez out. I'm down to see that. I'm sorry, bro. I actually like David Benavidez as a fighter. Say what you want about him outside the ring. As a fighter, I like David Benavidez, bro. I, I think Slim can he, he can get in there with the best of him, man. I'm, I'm dying to see how his career is going to pan out. But tonight, for those who don't know, uh, the guy Alexis Angulo quits between the 10th and 11th round. Quits on his stool. Well, his corner we pretty much waved the flag in, man. It was a wrap. David Benavidez pretty much had target practice tonight and um, took this dude to school. Took this dude to school and won every single round. I had it a whitewash. I didn't have Alexis and Gulo winning not one round. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. I like David Benavidez though, man. I like I like Benavidez. Benavidez look real good. I hope he stays at 168 and forget about 75. I'm with you, Bruce. A salute to you, Bruce. Uh, I'm with you, fam. I wanted to see him stay at 168. I mean, he's still young. He says that something he was talking in his post-fight review about diet. So 
he he claims that one of the reasons that he missed weight on the scales is because he couldn't get into the sauna and this, that, and the third. Now he's talking about diet. Two different things, if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. At the end of the day, you miss weight. You lost your belt. You gave a beautiful performance tonight. It would have been much more noteworthy if you would have not lost your belt on the scales. Gave a good performance tonight. Uh, and got nothing negative to say about the man inside that ring, outside of the discipline talk. And, and that's the sad part because us as boxing fans, right, these are the type of dudes that we want to see get in big fights. These are the type of fighters that we... We wait to get to these moments, you know, see the big fights pay off. But it can't even make weight. You know what I'm saying? It's just one thing after another in the sport of boxing, man. I tell you. I'm tell you. What's up, KP from KC5 in the building? What's up, fam? Benavidez is going to be a terror at once. Oh, we already read that. Jacobs better stay away. He too small for Benavidez. Man, I love to see a Daniel Jacobs versus David Benavidez. Man, the WBC... I don't know. I guess Avni Yodrum, he's the number one contender. I don't know how they're going to have to maneuver around him. If Alexis Angulo would have won tonight, fam, if he would have won tonight, he would have won the WBC belt. Even though uh, uh, David Benavidez lost it on the scales, Alexis Angulo was still fighting in the world title fight. It's just that uh, uh, David Benavidez wasn't. But at the end of the day, man, if, if the WBC allows David Benavidez, if, I don't know what they're going to do with Avni Yodrum at number one. They're going to have to give him a shot if he's not busy. But if they get him out the way and Daniel Jacobs gets involved and we can get a Daniel Jacobs versus David Benavidez, psh, hey, for those who don't know, Al Heyman and, and, and uh, Daniel Jacobs, they still two peas in the pod, man. They still cool. They can make that phone call. This can be this 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 can get done. And I would love to see David Benavidez versus a Daniel Jacobs, bro. But Daniel Jacobs is chasing after Gabriel Rosados and all that type of smoke, man. Come on, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck. I might see Davis stopping Daniel, uh, Daniel Jacobs. I'm going to keep it 100, bro. I mean, sh I, I, hey, I think I see David Benavidez stopping Daniel Jacobs, champ. And I, if, if we get to that point, that may be my prediction. But if he keep fighting the way he fighting, bro, Daniel Jacobs is good to stop, bro. I'm sorry. Thumbs up for the fam, man. Thumbs up for the fam. Great fight, says Boxing King. Yeah. Good to see David Benavidez on display, man. Still young, man. Only, what, 23 years old. Still young. Got a long way to go, man. Got a long way to go. Canelo going to steal that belt. Canelo versus Yildrum. Hey, bro, I was thinking about that too, man. I hope that don't happen, bro. I hope that don't happen. You know, Canelo Alvarez is sitting back looking for any little opportunity he can grab, man. This will be one of those, you know, the WBC, man. They will run to Canelo Alvarez's. Oh, uh, Canelo, please, please take our belt at 168. Man, they'll say he, did, he was the... WBC franchise champion down at 160. So that will be make him eligible to go for the WBC championship at 68 or some weird crap like that, man. Y'all already know what all this stuff the WBC been doing, man. I, I can see it, bro. I can see it. If that happened, man, I'm gonna be jive pissed, man. Be honest with you. I don't I mean, who would he fight for? Yildrum? Like you said, Yildrum? man, nah, man. Nah, man. Nah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, we're not doing that. Cadillac Red in the building. What's up, fam? What's up, fam? Salute to the homies over at Supreme Beast Boxing Talk all day. What's up, family? What's up with you? David will stop him, man. He chilling. He ain't hungry no more. He running with the Simmons girl. He's done. You think so? Yeah, I see it. I see David stopping him too, fam. I see David stopping. Silver Salomo said Benavidez looked dangerous. He looks very dangerous. And I think one of the only weapons at 168, that will really, really be 50-50 and really push David is Caleb Plant, bro. The speed, the fundamentals, the, the core of, 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 uh, of Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant's core, rock solid. Like, And I was looking at an interview with him earlier, man, and he, he write about what he say, bro. You, know, you don't see about nothing about him in the news and him drinking and missing weight and not you know he always in tip-top condition he always ready to go and the, the the last remaining question about Caleb Plant was his power lately he's been displaying his power is what it is you know fucking with them snacks you know what I'm saying but at the end of the day his power is what it is so at the end of the day man him and Caleb that's the fight right there at 168 that's that's got to be made you know what I'm saying I don't know, man. Jamal Charlo might even want to slow down. I heard uh, Jamal Charlo and uh, David Benavidez going back and forth. Man, I don't know, bro. David looking dangerous out here, champ. He looking dangerous. McCaskill beat Breakers and took all the belts. What? Oh, you serious, fam? 
Cecilia break his loss? Oh, nah, I ain't, I ain't even watched the fight, bro. Because I've been watching this. Oh, you, I should have been going back and forth. Cecilia break his loss? Nah, man. Oh, I'm going to get into that one, bro. I'm going to get into that. Damn. Damn. Hey, salute to the first lady, Cecilia Breakers, though, man. She's still in the history books. Damn. Are you serious? Damn. Chan hey, the, the girl she was rumbling, going up against, though, she looked hungry, bro. She, looked, she did look hungry. I, I must admit, man. I've been looking at her interviews, man. You can hear the hunger in that girl's voice. She was passionate, man. That girl was hungry. Man. That is huge, bro. Damn, damn. The only problem is that Caleb Plant has no chin. I feel that David will get him in the later rounds. Yeah, his chin is always... I don't know, man. His chin, He looks solid to me, bro. He got a solid core. I mean, his chin, he's never really... He ain't been put down. I mean, I don't know, bro. He's, he's just a fundamentally sound good fighter. His hand speed, man. I think the hand speed would be the one thing that David would definitely got to figure out on Caleb Plant. Um, it, it, it'll come down to a speed versus time and fight. You know what I mean? Speed versus time and fight. I mean, both men got good power. I think David is a lot more stronger than Caleb all, all day. Uh, but if David Benavidez slows Caleb Plant down and fighting his style of fight, that slow paced style of fight, where you let David fight comfortably on the outside, where he breaking you down on the outside and you just tightening up, trying to figure out when you're going to get your opportunities, man, if you, if Caleb let that fight type of fight happens, which I don't see. That's the type of fight that David Benavidez just runs away with, man. Runs away with. Damn, champ. Yeah, man. Hey, Boxing King. Man. Hey, man. Hey, I can't believe that one. That one just kind of threw me off. Cecilia Breaker's loss. Damn. Damn, damn. At least she got the rematch. That's crazy. So she got a rematch. Good for her, man. Hey, pandemic season. Boxing 2020. It is the twilight zone out here, fam. We don't know what's going to happen this year, man. You know what? I don't want my man Bomb Squad fighting this year. Say what y'all want. I don't want my man Bomb Squad fighting this year. I need Bomb Squad to come back in 2021. Something ain't right about 2020. I don't care what y'all saying. Something ain't right about 2020. Bomb Squad, we don't need you coming back until May of 2021. You know what I'm saying? That's when we want to see you back in the ring. All day. All day. You know what I mean? But damn, champ. McCaskill beat Breakers, man. Man, that is epic. That is news. How is, uh, uh I got my girl Clarissa, man. I know she back sitting back like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. But we yeah, man. But as for David Benavidez, man, I just want y'all to know, man, yo, I'm a fan of the dude, man. I want to see him get his discipline in order. You know, I, a lot of people sour on him. It's just that, you know, it's just one of them things. It's, it's almost like he's he's like a tank to a, a, to, to a lot of us, you know? We know his potential. We know how good he is. All we need to know is that, look, man, as long as you focus, you got it together. You know what I'm saying? You 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 stick it to the script, man. You 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 discipline. You work. You stand in that gym. You stand away from the bad foods. You stand away from the partying. You stand away from the social media. We already know what you can be. Us as boxing fans, we know what David Benavidez can be. We know what Tank can be. We just need them to just do this. You know what I'm saying? Just do it. Stay away. Just focus. We we as boxing fans that watch this sport see the talent oozing away from these dudes, oozing out of their pores. It's just that, man, getting caught up, being young, all that money, man, you know, living in these days and times, man, it is what it is, fam. Thumbs up for the fam as y'all come on in, man. Thumbs up for the fam, man. And hit that subscribe button if y'all just seeing me for the first time, you know what I mean? I got Caleb. If Caleb and Benavidez fight, I got Caleb, says Alex uh, Espino. Yeah, man. That's going to be a good fight. Hey, bro, if I did a poll on that, it's got to be 50-50. I'm telling you, man, we're going to get half of the fans on Caleb's side. We're going to get half of the fans on, on David Benavidez's side. And when we got that, that means a fight needs to happen. Because I'm a true be told. Bro, I mean, who else is 68 we talking about? We got we got Billy Joe Saunders, Callum Smith, David Benavidez. I mean, well, was formerly David Benavidez and a Caleb Plant. Those are the four champions. Bro, I, I see Caleb and, and David... Beat, beating the whole, the, the, all the champions, bro. I see Caleb and David being the two top dogs, in my opinion, over Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders. And, man, I, hey, bro, we got to see that fight. We got to see that fight. And Daniel Jacobs, no way. No way. Daniel Jacobs moves too much, fights too timid to me. I, mean, I think I see David Benavidez literally breaking Danny Jacobs down. The same way we seen Alexis Angulo fighting these later rounds in tonight's fight, I think that would be Daniel Jacobs as well. 
Real spill. Andrew says, man, I think for us boxing fans, we need to see that fight. David versus Caleb. David always ends up overpowering his opponents in the later rounds, but Caleb is slick, so it will be very interesting. Exactly. Their styles complement each other. You know what I mean? You got the typical speed versus timing. Power, you know what I mean, versus fundamentals. Like, their styles really complement each other. If PBC or Showtime or whatever did not have a, good, a damn good fight on their hands, this is one. This is one. And it, it, with the buildup, with the bad blood, with the viral videos that's on YouTube of them two, you know, bumping into each other, man, this can be a huge fight. This can be a, a damn near pay-per-view. Truth be told, if they could have just kept on what they were doing, damn near pay-per-view, I believe. You know what I'm saying? I believe. I believe. David needs more discipline. There's no excuse for his irresponsibility. Yeah, it, it, it isn't. And to know that he has his own gym, though, that really hurt me a little bit. That Before I made my last video talking about that, I did not even know he had his own gym. That one right there, that changes, that just makes me look at things just a little bit different. I didn't know you had your own gym, dog. I'm I'm giving him, I guess, uh, flexibility, thinking that it's pandemic time and, you know, oh, well, it's pandemic time and you can't get in gyms like that. Everything is restricted. You know, uh, and like I said before, fighters may have family members that are sick, so their focuses are off. And I'm still standing by. I still would like to see some fighters have a pound or two pound leeway for their first fight back, if they, especially if they've been out of the ring over a year. You know what I mean? I just think that's only but right and only but fair. I get it. Stay ready. But given the restrictions, I just think that's the right way to go. That's just my opinion. But knowing that Caleb, I mean, knowing that David Benavidez has his own gym, that makes things a little different, man. That makes things just a little. He ain't going to Planet Fitness. You know what I'm saying? He ain't He ain't going to. He ain't. He, ain't, he got a whole gym. You know what I mean? Like, he's just talking about the sauna. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got all of these machines over here. Yeah, I got that. I got that. I got that. I got the weights. I got the bag. I got the. I got all of this. I just don't got a sauna. Nah, bro. That don't cut it. That don't cut it. That don't cut it. So I'm going to get up out of here. I don't want to hold this too long, man. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow, man. Brighten, you know, sometime tomorrow when I'm more level headed, man. We can sit down and really talk some boxing and break all of this down. I caught Otto Wileen earlier. Otto Wileen out jabs. Travis Kaufman. I was like, thank goodness that fight was over. You know what I'm saying? But Otto Wileen, man, that dude is so... How could you not see them punches coming a mile away? You know what I mean? But good for Otto Wileen to go in there and get that win tonight. Y'all jab Travis Kaufman. Travis Kaufman said he's going to hang him up, man. We know uh, he, he just lost his training in uh, Brother Nassim. And, um, you know, he's at a, a point in his career where he know ain't, ain't nothing pretty left on the other side of that rainbow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Luis Ortiz pretty much gave him a serious beat down before this before this fight. And tonight, he just pretty much got out jabbed. His shoulder went out on him. Couldn't swing no more. And it, it just was a bad look, man. Travis need to hang him on up, bro. Real spill. But Otto Wileen gets back into the win column. Man, he's going he to try to push for a fight with Tyson. Hey, Tyson Fury better not with this WBC crap that they got going on try to maneuver into a rematch with Otto Wileen. I'm going to be pissed. If, if Tyson Fury come back, oh, the WBC dropped the order against Dillian White, so we don't have to go to February no more. We're going to try to get another Otto Wileen fight in there. Everybody said it was so controversial because he cut me and the fight should have been stopped. Nah, bro. We ain't trying to hear that, bro. Don't be, don't, they better not try to maneuver Otto Wileen back into a rematch with Tyson Fury. I'm going to be pissed. Real spill. Imagine how the Earl Spence and Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, and the Charlo fights are going to be. This is just the beginning. All day boxing is back even though this is the weirdest year 2020 is a crazy year but boxing is back i cannot wait for those fights boxing i i i cannot wait for those fights fam real spill thumbs up for the fam i'm gonna get up out of here man i'm gonna go on chill out for the rest of the night man i hope y'all enjoyed the fights tonight we'll pick it up tomorrow and uh cecilia break us, man i got to get on that asap man come on through man hit the subscribe button bell icon we break fights down like this all the time it's a fam over here man much love to you all enjoy the rest of your weekend and i catch y'all on the next one man peace out damn cecilia breaks mm, mm, mm.